proved it can't be proved. I said, yes, baby, darling, the floor belong to you. One that a big ring and one long. Don't you know? Mr. Bernard Allison, and uh, it's a pleasure to have you here at the Trasimeno Blues Festival. Uh, it was uh, harder or easier to be a Luther Allison song? Well, it was harder because I think everyone expected me to be so much like him, which there's a lot of him in me, but we're actually two different guitar players and singers. And so I basically had to prove myself opposed to being the, you know, the father that opened all the doors. And that wasn't the case. I did my work on my own and my father made sure that I got the most important thing done first, which was school. So once you finish school, you can do anything you want. <laughs> But if I remember, you started to play guitar at the age of nine. Ten. Ten. ten yeah, I was ten, ten years old when I first did that. <laughs> He's very young. Yeah. What do you remember of that time? Well, my older brother was playing guitar, and he decided that guitar wasn't for him. He said it hurt his fingers, so he moved away from home. And he said, here, you can have my guitar. So I, slowly, I began. Figuring out the notes and why I think I can do this. And I'd run to my dad's, one of my dad's records, just listen to them over and over and slow them down and learn how to play the notes. So that's how I did that for three years before my dad knew I could play guitar. You are the last of the nine children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was to be the last of nine. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Yes, I have um, I have five older sisters and three older brothers, and, and I'm the only one that <laughs> does music, though, you know. Okay, so it's great uh, to be a part of a great family. Oh yeah, family is very important, and that's what I find here. You know, with the people tonight, it's like one big family, and that's what Bernard Allison do out. We play all over the world, and we try to tell people come here. It's we're all one. When we all live here. We're all happy. <laughs> Tonight we played uh, two Jimi Hendrix songs. Mm -hmm. What uh, Jimi uh, means? Well, Jimi put a stamp on guitar players. Uh, I don't. So many different influences, you know, and um, from Stevie Ray Vaughan to Jimi Hendrix, you know. That's like saying Muddy Waters or B.B. King or Lightning Hopkins. They also put their stamp on a certain genre of music. And I think Hendrix was a little bit more on the rock side, so he attracted a, a wider audience than, for, say, Muddy Waters would have done, you know. And just I just got bless him for putting out music. And <laughs> I tried to show the people that I can play more than just the yes. blues. Yes. That's me too. Yeah. In fact, uh, right. this night uh, you played funk rock, uh, blues, uh, many others. Yes. You, uh, were, you also played uh, for three years for the unforgettable Coco Table. Yes. <laughs> and I learned, I think, when I was with Coco Taylor, I think that's what made me the, the guitar player I am now because I learned how to play behind someone first opposed to saying, okay, I want to have my own band where I want to be the star, or be the one up front. But with Coco, I was able to back a female vocal and become a, a member of the group and to make the music for her and let her do her thing, you know. But I give her all the credit for forming me as a, a, a overall rhythm player. What is your next uh, project? I'm, I'm about to record a new album in August. Uh, and I think there's talks of this, maybe me and Cedric Burnside and a couple more guests, so like kids of the creators almost. And I, I'm so excited. I just want to know who it is and what they want to play. Because I can play pretty much <laughs> whatever they tell me the key, I'm going to play it. So. 
But, uh, you know, I tour Europe. Um, we come back to Europe again in October for one month. I think, you know, France, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Holland. I, I just love Europe. You know? <laughs> so the last question is uh, the same question that I made uh, an interview with a blues artist. Okay. What's the blues for Bernard Ellis? Uh, good, it's a good man or a good woman feeling bad, basically. That's the true meaning for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's okay. The, that's really the true meaning. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you. It I, be a I love you guys. I had a blast, and hopefully I can come back and... Party hope, with the family again. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> okay, thank you. You need to worry. Come now by your side. I love you. I just keep.